Gabriella Sabatini, the 14-year-old sensation, warming up, will face Chris Everett Lloyd, the defending champion. She beat Madrado. Horvath was seeded 14th. Zena Garrison was the fifth seed. Then Shriver, number four, and Manuela Maleva, the second seed. What a destruction job by this uh, number one junior player in the world. Chris Everett Lloyd, the Baltimore left-hander, Elise Bergen, then Pam Casale. Chris Everett Lloyd got a bye in the first round, then the Baltimore left-hander, Elise Bergen, Pam Casale, Virginia Ruzic, 24-0 against Ruzic, and then this morning, the 15-year-old German, Steffi Graf. Sabatini opening the match. Of course, the obvious question will be just how much does this youngster have left after playing two tough matches already today? Even the sea of adrenaline runs dry. who I think is nervous, Joanne? Mrs. Everett Lloyd, playing against the kid, because she used to put people through this ringer for years. Just wide. 15 Because of Sabatini's rigorous day already, at the late start of the final by about 45 minutes to give her proper rest. In fact, even at that, this is most unusual to be playing quarterfinal, semifinal, and final all in one day. And immediately, Chris Everett Lloyd has a double break point. One thing you said about Chris, she might be nervous. It's true, she hasn't played Sabatini before, and she hasn't experienced this kind of topspin throughout the tournament. One breaker save by Sabatini. She'll be 15 next month. Chris definitely hasn't seen a backhand like this throughout the tournament. Have you? Flies long and Everett Lloyd breaks. We'll be back after these words from your local station. NS10 Blazer Chevrolet. Use of that along with $34,000 to the winner. Gabriella Sabatini already has earned $17,000, by far her biggest payday in tennis. Does that blazer have brass buttons? <laughs> <laughs> right next to the wheels. <laughs> Just wide. Nice change up slice by the kid. What Chris is trying to do in the first couple of games is make Gabby more tired than she already is because you notice she's working the ball around from corner to corner and making Gabby move a lot. Long, you saw the graphic on career prize money. Sabatini would match her young career total, or already has, and would double it with a win in this final. by Chris Deep. Again, 40-15. Just to underline it. 
joanne russell's analysis of chris everett lloyd's improved efforts to even get better than she's been stronger serve and attack more volleying better Second game and leads to love. Well, when I say nothing like this has happened in tennis before, we've had 14 year olds in finals. Tracy Austin at 14 was the youngest to ever win a professional tournament, but that was a very small event. This young woman has beaten three of the top 10 in one tournament, and that has never happened before. much more confident Chris Everett Lloyd. Watch her, she really puts her body behind that ball. Most of the time before this improved volley, she used to just place it carefully. And it always looked nice, but it never had any oomph behind it. Low 30. difficult task for any of the top players to face Chris Everett Lloyd, but with a long day already for young Sabatini, in a way it seems unfortunate that she isn't at full speed or at least full energy level. Chris is moving her around. Gabriella, here's her beautiful top spin back in, and she really gets under that. Here she is again. She goes from low to high, and notice the extension of her arm and shoulder. Yeah, she's fought back from love 30. <laughs> Rare unforced error by the defending champion. trouble on her overheads and if you watch in the upcoming games notice how she holds her hands very low and doesn't get her racket up to hit her overheads she makes a lot of errors <laughs> big point for the kid here just to get this point just to get a game and then to be able to sit down and rest into the semifinals. They beat Italy today in Prague, Czechoslovakia, thanks to the singles play. again for us. The Argentinians have had uh, some outstanding world-class men, but not that many women who have excelled in this game. No, you'd have to go back about 20 years to Norma Balon, who was a top 10 player. And of course, that was in the amateur days of tennis.
tearing across at the queen of the clay. Chrissy has only lost one match in nine family circle events. 41 and one, her match record here. Andrea Yeager, an 82 in the semifinals beater. This is a really good example of a contrasting styles. The nice compact swing of Chris Everett Lloyd on her back end and the big windup of Sabatini, it's very interesting. Chris does not make many errors on her backhand side, where Sabatini really goes for it, and she does make a few more. And here we have both of them. Notice Chris, short swing, compact fall through, and then big looping swing with a huge backswing on Sabatini. Good, like a line drive hitter versus the home run swinger. It's wide. Break point. The first of the match for Sabatini. Chance to pull even a two all. Whoops. Double fault for the game. It's two all. Remember, Chris Everett Lloyd in four matches has surrendered only a total of 11 games. No one has really challenged her for a set. She's breezed into the finals. And she does, but it's a little off today. About 30. Let's go back to that overhead. Here we have that very low take back. And then all of a sudden, she rises up in one motion and hits it. And she makes a lot of errors. And the thing is, I think it's because she's so tired today. If I played two hours and a half, I I'd be tired. And the first thing when you're tired that goes is your overhead, then your serve. A triple break point for Chris Everett Lloyd. Saved by Chris Everett Lloyd to earn the point and the lead. 3-2, up a break.
were talking with Lee Jackson before the match, bud. She's the referee. There are numerous instances of players uh, throughout tennis history playing two matches in a day because of weather conditions. But three, Lee said she had never heard of it. I said, what are the rules? She said, we would never ask a player to play more than two singles in a day. But she said, this is an extraordinary circumstance. It's up to the discretion of the players, the tournament officials, and me, the referee. And Gabriella wants to play. Obviously, it's nation, national television, and so there's no complaint. But she said, we just wouldn't do it in any other circumstance. So a most unusual day for an unusual tennis talent, Gabriella Sabatini. 40 love. Regardless of what happens, what she's done, as we look at John Lloyd worrying about Mama. a much more confident Chris Everett Lloyd than before. Watch Sabatini. She's just a little bit tired and she goes for too much on this backhand and it's just out. And who would think that the number two player in the world lacks confidence, but for a while Chris did. That's nine straight points that Chris has won. Do you remember Joanne when Chrissy played Tracy Austin, who was 14 at Wimbledon in 1977? She said, I could hardly walk out into the court. I was so nervous. 25 matches <laughs> total for Sabatini against the all-time winner. Let's see that again. The totals are so enormous for Chris Everett Lloyd and testimony to her stranglehold on the women's game until Martina came along a couple years ago, but nevertheless, 1,025 more than anyone's won. That's the female record. Jimmy Connors has won a few more matches for the men, but she has won more tournaments. She has won 134 tournaments, and the server has not won any as yet. <laughs> Sabatini is different from most top spinners. Baseline players usually loop the ball, goes down the middle. They don't really do anything with the ball. They don't use it as an offensive force, and that's what Gabriella does. straight years at least one grand slam for Chris Everett Lloyd the Australian in 84 keeping that streak alive Gabriella hits his back and with a lot of force, but it's too short. And if it's too short against Chris Everett Lloyd, you are sunk. <laughs> so Deuce at 2-4, the first set. Gabriella Sabatini against the champion Chris Everett Lloyd. And it's really been a day, tennis day to remember for the 14-year-old server. Sabatini. Well, it's a crucial game, this seventh game. Chris with a chance to go up 5-2. If Sabatini can save it, then she's still in the set. In 
in this game it seems like seventeen he's top spin is giving chris a little trouble on her back inside third deuce of the game it was interesting yesterday when we were chatting in the rain delay with chris she said you know if i had decided to have a family really early i'm almost old enough to be your mother a 16 year disparity Except when Kenny Rosewell was in his last days, there was nothing like that. And he was over 40. Oh! Ooh, that looked hey, might have bitten the line, did not. So a second break point for the champion Everett Lloyd. Turned professional at age 18 in 1972. <laughs> Record crowds here. Jack Jones, the tournament director and promoter, so pleased with the response. It's one of the best run of all the tournaments in this country. what keeps us all interested, of course. We came in here, people were disappointed. Martina Navratilova had planned to play, she felt she needed rest, and did not play. People said, well, we've got Chris, but what else? And then this story unfolds. It's wide, and Sabatini saves. It was a struggle. She had to fight off a couple of break points. And we continue in this first set, the championship of the 13th Family Circle Cup. 4-3, Everett Lloyd up. Edwards has won all of his fights for them as a lightweight by knockout. It's Melvin Paul. Back to follow our coverage of this 13th final of the Family Circle Magazine Cup, Gabriella Sabatini. 14 years of age against the champion, 30-year-old Chris Everett Lloyd. 4-3, Chris up a break, opening set. New balls. yesterday all day into the evening thus far we've been blessed with good weather a little sunshine cloudy now but no rain <laughs> WTA had that uh, calendar featuring all the good-looking women players. We might just uh, rededicate April to Sabatini. <coughs> Double break point to go for all. Down the line. 
Sabatini has broken Everett Lloyd for the second time, and this first set is even at four all. What Sabatini's doing is mixing it up. First, she has that big looping kind of topspin, which drives Chris back a couple of feet from the baseline. Then she has that drive backhand that she uses on the angle. Then she has her slice backhand, so she ties all of those in one neat package and breaks Chris. I wonder what she's serving. She doesn't do much with the first serve, but against Shriver, she was 94%. Statsman Green says she was 91% against Maleva. She's just 75% today. Sabatini has to watch out for. In her match against Shriver, there were a lot of breaks. Here we have that contrast in styles. Watch how Sabatini falls backwards on her backhand. And the, the main thing is against Shriver, she'd break Shriver, then lose her serve. Break Shriver, then lose her serve. And this is a big game where she's really got to concentrate hard and hang in there and hold her serve. Chris, she falls behind low 30 at 4 all. Well, Chris is playing pretty smart. She's changing the whole tempo of the match. She's lobbying. long. Does that tell you anything, Joanne? Well, the fact that Chris is a very smart player. She didn't get to be number one for all those years, and number two now, by playing into someone's strength every match. Last three points, she's thrown in a couple of lobs. It's thrown Sabatini off. And a low game as Chris breaks right back, and the champion leads by four in this first set. This at the French and again at Wimbledon this year. Thank you, Dick. I'm looking forward to it. Stan, the touring pro at Sea Pines Plantation here at Hilton Head. Stan, do you recall playing three matches in one day, a quarterfinal, a semifinal, and a final? Never in pro tennis. In the juniors, we've done that a few times, but uh, in pro tennis, I don't think I've ever seen it been done. I haven't. Want to get your impressions of young Sabatini from the set. <laughs> There's always a danger of <laughs> overestimating and projecting too far, and she is just 14. At court. Die. What do you see in this Argentinian phenom? Well, we'll see this shot again. I, what I like to see is the fact that right here, she's coming up to the net, and she's taking the volley on the rise instead of staying back and just hitting those loopers. Sabatini, that's the first we've seen today of any sort of questioning of a call. There's been a series down at this end, close calls, and they've all seemingly gone against her. And now, Chris with a double set point. Everett Lloyd has 
the game and the first set, 6 4. Stan Smith. Here we see Gabriella really setting up nicely. She seems to be off balance in some of her shots, but when she really wants to hit the ball hard, she sets up very well. Here she's off of her off of her back foot, jumping, but she moves so well. That's what really impresses me, plus her versatility on the court. She can hit topspin or slice. Well, it's a terrific story about how Pato Ape first saw her at the Banana Bowl in San Paulo two years ago. That's a big junior event, and he didn't see her in a match that impressed him. Coach Ape impressed her with flowers, and Well, that's right. He coached an American team in the Banana Bowl. He's a Chilean, but he is based in Key Biscayne, Florida. There's Pato. And he sent one of his top players, Amy Schwartz, out to play a match. And he went to watch somebody else because he had never heard of Sabatini. Sabatini beat Schwartz so badly, he couldn't believe it. And he said, I better see her. He said, once I saw her, I began sending her flowers. Not that I wanted to coach her. He said, I didn't want to babysit a 12-year-old. He said, now I'm babysitting a 14-year-old. <laughs> What a delightful task. 30 15. versatility here. This is unbelievable. Line to line, and then come to the net to finish off the point. A real champion here. This is excitement for women's tennis. I cannot believe that uh, people aren't talking about Martina this week anymore after this day. 40-15, <laughs> trying to save her serve in this first game of the second set. Ape still didn't coach her right away because she went back to Buenos Aires and she said to her parents she thought she ought to go to America. One of her best friends, Mercedes Paz, who was 18, was being coached by Ape, and that's eventually how they got together. And she came to Key Biscayne to win. That court. Here she comes again. Nope. Didn't quite get there, and it's Deuce. Well, she's adventurous, and Stan, that's what I like about her, because she's not the usual juvenile baseliner just staying back there waiting for somebody else to make a mistake. She has effect with her shots, and she will attack. Well, she can loop that backhand, but when she needs to, she can hit it very flat for a passing shot. Oh, what a nice changeup. Well, we hadn't seen that, Floyd. And it gives Chris a break here, a break chance. And that's the shot that drove people wild when Chrissy first showed up as a 16-year-old phenom at the U.S. Open 1971. chance erased it's deuce you know it's great to see Gabriella playing so well and being such a great sensation at age 14 but I always tend to think about what's the future like is, is she going to be spoiled by agents by the pressure of the game by people wanting a lot of her in many different areas <laughs> but even thinks that her okay. handsome looks could work as a detriment that's one of the areas that I'm thinking about I don't know if she's discovered boys, but I know the boys have discovered her already. A few million of them right now. <laughs> right. Yeah, perhaps.
perhaps that weariness is taking its toll. Thank you, Stan Smith. We'll look forward to seeing you in Paris. Chris Everett Lloyd has broken. Everett Lloyd serving very well for a serve percentage, despite the fact she's putting more on that first serve. 12 more unforced errors by the youngster Sabatini, who has one more winner than the defending champion. So those aren't bad numbers for her against uh, the number two player in the world. Not at all, as Pato Ape, Key Biscayne, Florida. He played Davis Cup for Chile. He came out of Santiago, and he's a very considerate coach. They were up at 6 this morning, he said. Breakfast, orange juice, and a lot of cereal, and then she ate more cereal for lunch between her semifinal and final. Two-hour rest she had. She called her parents, Osvaldo and Beatrice Sabatini, after beating Shriver, and she was so excited. And then again after she beat Maleva. Her father works for General Motors in the Argentinian capital of Buenos Aires. She sprang him long now, 30 long. Well, Shriver made an interesting comment. She said, this kid is going to be around for a long time, I think. But she said, when you see them whipping all that topspin like that, she said, that's the way Jimmy Arias hit a lot of balls, and he's got shoulder troubles, and I hope she doesn't have shoulder troubles. Uh-oh. Hasn't given up! Now, watch, she hesitates. She thinks she's beaten. Oh, well, I might as well run. And she makes the shot, but not the play. <laughs> but even in that sequence, but as we watch the replay, she does have such a fluidity of motion, runs so effortlessly. <laughs> a point away from a two-love lead in the second set. Chris prevailed in the first 6-4. It's only the second time in the entire tournament someone's taken four games off her in a set. to Chris Everett Lloyd. She leads two love. Family Circle Tennis being brought to you by Chevrolet S10 Blazer, the official vehicle of the 1985 Family Circle Magazine Cup Tournament. By Hayes Microcomputer Products, innovative products for enterprising people. By Hormel, maker of fine food products. And by Litton, microwave cooking products. It's a good time to buy a Litton. Dick Kenberg, Bud Collins, John Russell, and Stan Smith from Hilton Head Island, South Carolina. First double fault of the match for Sabatini. One has to wonder if maybe the tank is empty. It's been a glorious day, no matter what happens in this set for Gabby. It would really be unfair to suggest that at 14 she's better than Tracy Austin was at that age or that Chrissy was at that age or any number of players, Andrea Yeager. But the point is she's different and she's exciting and watch for her. That's nine straight points for Chris Everett Lloyd. And a triple break point. Excitement. This too is another challenge thrown at Chris Everett Lloyd and perhaps Martina Navratilova down the line. Yeah. Caught the line. Yes. No, it's called out. By Betsy Reed, Chris Everett Lloyd said yeah, but the linesman called it out. And so Chris has broken Sabatini again. And the defending champion going for her eighth Family Circle Cup is up three love. Tired now that she's played so many matches. Well, I really don't know. I think she's content. I'm missing it. I'm very tired. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Coach is tired, and you can understand that. He's gone through a little emotional duress himself. Oh! 
Well, she had a terrific blaze in the first set. She was down 4-2. She came up to 4-all. But since that point, Chrissy has allowed her only four points. With our attention focused, understandably, on a new face, an exciting young player, we then neglect the bowl. Don't neglect that That's face. Right. That woman, I believe, can still play better tennis. She believes it, and I think she can. I think there are things she can do, and she's trying them to become more effective. Gabby stays with it. It was not a good volley. It was not punched well, and she goes down the line to catch Everett Lloyd off balance. 15-30. Sabatini, let's not forget that Chris Everett Lloyd played also this morning, defeated Steffi Groff in straight sets, and she has a semifinal doubles coming up after this. And prospectively, two more matches after this. It would be the semifinal and doubles alongside Carling Bassett. If they win, they would play the final. So inclement weather has pushed this tournament into a corner, but we're going to escape. Sabatini, her first chance in the second set. Well, the bad weather did compress, however, our focus on this young lady, and in that regard, the spectators have been very fortunate. Ooh, first ace. Here to catch the line and skid it on Sabatini, it's Deuce. And you wonder, will we all be guilty of overplaying a 14-year-old, of over-touting, of expecting too much? Those are the dangers. Oh! Advantage Chris. Husband John Lloyd and mother Colette Everett. Waiting to applaud a possible eighth Family Circle Cup championship. Wonderful weaponry. Well, she's like a wobbling fighter in the late rounds now. She has pride and she can still swing that Sunday punch, but not enough of it. toward the ball. Good form on the smash, and one of her better smashes, but it went right at Sabatini, who kept the point going for another two strokes. Point away, however, from four love in this second set. It's long, and Chris Everett Lloyd does indeed lead four love in the second set. 6-4 winner in the first. It's like all about Eve, isn't it? The age.
aging star and the ingenue. So many people to thank. Art Hedick, president of the Family Circle magazine, Jack Jones, John Marino, the promoters, tournament director Laura Norman, Nancy Ergen, Women's Tennis Association, the court maintenance. Yeah, John Posick has been here for years with John Chase and Lois Wastler, and they do a terrific job on the courts. And I don't want to forget Ann Jackson and Mary Kelly in the press trailer. to Jaeger in the semifinals, Andrea Jaeger, in Family Circle Cup play. And get this stat, Dick. She's won 84 of 87 sets that she's played in the Family Circle Cup. Never losing an edge off that competitiveness. Intensity, it's one of the qualities that so many admire in her. Sabatini in this match. She stares at another break point. Ooh. And that was virtually a half volley from the baseline. It appeared Chris had made a great play. Picking up on the drop shot, goes cross court. Now look, that's a half volley from just inside the baseline. <laughs> Let's just relish her movement. Determination. Ooh, talk about determination. <laughs> well, we have so much to look forward to with our coverage of the French Open. Many thought the Yvonne Lendl, John McEnroe final last year was the best men's match of the entire 1984 year. Chris Martina and now a new name, Sabatini. Four Grand Slam titles, Alan Wills Moody, Chris Everett Lloyd, number three all time with a total of 16. That's singles. Of course, you go singles, doubles, and mixed, and court has 65, which is way beyond anyone's reach. Martina Navratilova is moving up there. So she'll be going for a fifth straight to Wimbledon doubles championship, won't you? On the line, both lines, in fact. Back to Deuce third deuce in this game. Chris, well in front, however, four love in the second set, 6-4 winner in the first. Second break point for Chris. We could only wish that Gabriella Sabatini works on her English. It would be delightful to get her feelings. Maybe we better work on our Spanish partners. <laughs> well, it's still late for me. She is studying English. It's long. 
And that's the game to Chris Everett Lloyd. She is now one game away from her eighth championship. Up five love in the second. Joanne Russell down at courtside with John Lloyd. Joanne? John, you know, I've seen Chris play in the last two finals she's been in, and I think she's played with renewed confidence in her game. I know you've seen her play quite a bit, and what do you think? Well, I think she's, uh, for the last couple of weeks, she's started hitting the ball a little bit harder. She's going for serves a lot more, and I think she's um, been working out a lot more, and she's physically very strong right now. She's playing very well indeed. Thanks a lot, John. Back to you, Dick. Chris Everett Lloyd, a game away from sweeping through this 13th annual Family Circle Cup, 13 of the Cups, and apparently eight of those will belong to Chris Everett Lloyd. We will be chatting with Chris Everett Lloyd, uh, whether we do it within the framework of this Family Circle Cup coverage or during our afternoon of sports on NBC. Stay tuned for ringside, but you'll be hearing from the defending champion, who is two points away from victory. Spring in Carolina, Azalea time blossomed beautifully, and so has this young 14-year-old from Buenos Aires, Gabriela. But Carolina is also famous for its pines, and they're evergreen, a reminder that their strength lives the entire year in their permanence. Such is the beauty and the youth of Gabriela, but ever strong. Chris Everett Lloyd. NBC ringside coming up, but let's go down to the court now for the champion and the challenger. Here's Bud. Thank you, Dick. Muy bien jugado. Messi. Were you tired? Si estaba cansada. Si, un poquito, un poco cansada porque había tenido dos partidos duros anteriores. She was a little bit tired because she did have two tough matches before. What was it like playing against Chris Everett Lloyd for the first time? Como fue jugar contra Chris Everett la primera vez. Bueno, realmente es una experiencia muy grande para mí y bueno, o sea, pienso que yo. Sí. She, it was a great experience for her and she's been dreaming with that, so it's like a dream come true. A dream for us too. Muchas gracias and suerte. Chris Everett Lloyd, congratulations Thanks. on your 135th professional championship. Mm. Were you nervous going out there trying to beat up on a little kid like that? I, I think I was nervous in the first set because I really didn't know how good she was. I've never played against her in singles, and she's been the giant killer of the tournament. And she was actually a lot better than I expected. She's very good. A lot better than all of us expected. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What did she show you that startled you or perhaps was... Her power. I mean, I, I thought that um, I had powerful ground strokes, but she was really... She hits with such topspin and such power, and she's not physically that big, so I was very surprised. I thought she wouldn't hit as hard, but she had me pinned back, you know, eight feet behind the baseline. Is there anyone you could compare with? Uh, there have been teenage wonders, including yourself. 
Well, I think she's a natural athlete like Sandy Vaughn Gulagong, but I think that she, she hits her ground strokes a little bit harder than Yvonne. Um, I would compare with someone like Maria Bueno, you know, very fluid, very talented. And Maria Bueno. Well, we don't want to overlook the fact that when the kid was there, you were the kid killer, Chrissy. Yeah. So congratulations on your eighth Family Circle Championship, and now Thanks. back to Dick Enberg. And congratulations, Chris Everett Lloyd, the champion, Dick Enberg, for Bud Collins and Joanne Russell. Thank you for being with us at Hilton Head Ringside next after these words from your local station.